you know, interviews sort of like uh, boost fame and being known and that's that's really like a part of 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 my life and what i do that i really don't want to you know put any energy into yeah. i don't i don't really want to become crazy famous or you know mm. crazy popular good morning afternoon or evening welcome to the not so daily show the show comes to you daily except when it doesn't i'm your host tim mckevin Joined today by special guest, fresh off the set of Blood and Water Season 2, my good friend, actor, musician, model, Tawang mm. Mulama. That's good, bro. Everything, 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 everything. Do you still identify as all three or has the uh, acting taken not, over? Not necessarily, bro. I, I, I'm just actor for now. Just actor, you know, yeah. the model is still back. Uh, no, yo, the modeling was, was, you know, taken out way back, bro. Way back. Yeah, yeah unless, unless, like, a brand comes up to me, you know, with with Jeez. with serious rack and says, "Come model this for us." Then I'll do it. Yeah, but like, it's not sense. something that I actively want to grow well. in and want and want to pursue. Mm, I see, I see. Yeah. I, Doc, do you watch Do you watch the news or do you get like all your news from Twitter and like from the internet? When last time you sat down and watched the news? No. It's been a minute, bro. It's been a minute, and actually, it shouldn't be like that because I need to be informed about the world and everything, especially as an actor, you know. Yeah. So yeah, but honestly, this is I haven't. Nowadays. Yeah, it is, but you know, yeah, I just don't watch a lot of news. Let me put you up. Unfortunately, yesterday saw the shocking death of two well-known figures, Prince Philip, where we were all shocked he was still alive, and DMX. So DMX died at the age of fifty. Uh, after suffering a heart attack, which is being blamed on a drug overdose. Uh, Prince Philip died at the age of 99, and his death is being blamed on Meghan Markle. Bro, <laughs> okay. everything that happens in the royal house is being blamed on <laughs> Meghan Markle. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah everything. Yeah. And, and I wonder, every time I hear anything royal, I think about The Crown, which I've never watched. Uh, as a Netflix dude, have you watched The, the Crown? Yeah, I watched, I watched a couple of episodes in season one, mm. and... It really wasn't for me, man, you know, like, like it's, that's hardcore, like drama, bro. Yeah. You know, I want some excitement. I want some, you know. <laughs> Are you still crazy yeah. about Piggy Blinders? Is that still I'm, top, top one? Yes. Top one. Top one. <laughs> Number one. For you. Nothing else, bro. That, that show is complete, bro. Damn, from yeah. From acting, from action, from storyline. Everything. Writing. Yeah. Nah, that's, nah, that's nah. my show. And you watch what you are. You have two Netflix shows, man. Crazy, you know, bro. You know what crazy. I'm saying? It's a long way. It's a long way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's still about to be crazy, yeah? Yeah. It's going to yeah, keep going. Can. Yeah. All right, all right. But um, for those who don't know, Prince Philip is the husband of the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. But moving on to our Queen, uh, Miss S.A. Shudufat Musida recently tweeted that she would like to be president. And Twitter was having her because, well, they can't imagine having a president that's actually competent. Twitter is ridiculous on this girl they can't, and, and wait, other celebrities bro they can't handle having uh, a president that's, that's competent. actually competent bro okay have you, have you, have you had <laughs> are, you, are you deep into politics not really but you engage not really yeah here it is yeah yeah i engage on on what really like matters to me would you would you have julius as your president would you vote for julius would i work for him would you vote for him <laughs> that's a tricky one because me I like elements of Julius, uh -huh. I like some elements of Ramaphosa, yeah. but I feel like all of them lack so much, mm. but like, because now there's this thing that people can run for president independently, mm. like they do, not in America, but like where you vote for a person, not for a party. Okay. So then if like Shudu was to run and like yeah. now Musi is trying to run under that thing, the independent thing where you're voting for a person and not yeah. for a party, because with a party you find that the ANC People support the ANC, mm. but maybe they don't like Zuma or they don't mm. like Ramaphosa. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it'll be that kind of situation. Yo, I think personally, I don't know if, if even saying this is wrong or right. Mm -hmm. I think he should be given a chance so we can Judas. see. Yeah, so we can no, see. No, that's not what, wrong. A lot of people say. You know what I'm saying? Say, yeah. Let's just like let's see. Let's see. It could be. It could shake. It could shake. It could shake. <laughs> but like, let's see yeah. if it could or not. You know what exactly. I'm saying? I think. I think. He deserves a bit of a chance. And I mean, if the world could live through a uh, Trump presidency, we can live through it. You know what I'm saying? Presidency. America lived through that. Dog. So, you know? And Julius has a much better head. Because Julius is actually smart. He's just controversial. He's fucking smart, that like, guy. In terms yeah, of, like, but, but brain power. Really that guy is a genius, yeah. bro. 
so so yeah i, th- I personally think he should get a chance get at a some chance. point so we see what's yeah. up you know because like you know we can't we can't keep fearing change you exactly know, we, and that's, it has that's to what happen. most people say the ANC is exactly. like fear of like if we go back this is the only thing we know yeah. but yeah you can't be ruled by fear I mm. see let me give you some more news bro um hackers have leaked the I love, I love a good hacking story. You love a good yeah. hacking story? Uh, you're going to love this one. Okay. Hackers have leaked the Facebook information, including personal details, contact details, and relationship statuses of 500 million people. And news has since emerged that the hackers are a bunch of women trying to get Tabang Mulaba's number. <laughs> wow. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you love it? That's a good hacking story. I mean, yeah. You got me. Eh? So is, is life still like that for you, Doug? Is what like a like, woman still chasing you? I, I don't know about that, bro. People say that, but I, personally, I don't. Okay, I don't so know. like if like, let's say in a day, if 10, 10 people walk up to you and say, hey, tell them we love you. How many of those are women? Not a lot. I, I try and make sure people don't walk up to me every day. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as much as you can. Yeah. I, I try to avoid that. So um, from holy water to hot water, uh, Dr. Tumi and his wife have been allegedly arrested for allegedly defrauding the National Lottery Board of 1.5 million rand. I mean, guys, how many jobs do you need? Doctor, gospel artist, fraudster. Like, is it ever enough? Is money ever enough, bro? Is that a real story? <laughs> That's a real that? story. This guy is, yeah, he's a medical doctor, huh? uh, gospel artist. Like, I, would, I think he's filled up the dome even. Yeah. And now, him and his wife defrauded the lottery of 1.5 million allegedly. I want to do that. <laughs> how, bro? How did they? How did they do that? <laughs> Which, uh, apparently, this guy once tweeted that um, he is glad that Money Heist season four has been uploaded. It's the whole season. <laughs> 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 and people are like, the woman was just like, oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> Have you watched Money Heist? Are you, are you one of yeah, the I have. Like, I've, I've watched until, like, I think season two. Uh, you haven't yeah. caught up? I haven't, I haven't finished everything, you know, but I know the characters, I know what goes yeah. on. Do you I watch know in, enough about it. Do you watch in English or in Spanish? Are you a English. subtitles dude? Dog, I can't do the whole subtitles thing. People are like, they watch in Spanish and like they watch the other ones and like I can't, and I can't focus on, on your acting and the, 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 the words reading. at the same time. No, I need, ah, to, yeah, I need yeah. to focus on one thing. Yeah, exactly. Because you know? even if like the, the words aren't exactly the same from the expression, you can tell mm. if what they say you know. connects. Yeah. yeah, but if you're reading, it's like a lot bro. crazier. Fuck, no. No, Actually, but wait, bro, how, how did... They defraud the lot. Bro, the next thing you're gonna have a scandal and they're gonna say, I taught you to. Yeah. <laughs> but you already have enough checks, bro. All right. When we used to do castings, right? Yeah. There was this casting place in Randburg where when I drive there, I'd see that huge board on that Randburg building. Mm. And now you are on it with the Nivea. I was like, what it's the true. hell, bro? You said that Nivea, Nivea is huge. Mm. The billboard in Randburg, I think that's one of the biggest billboards that I've seen. Mm. And even the, the, whole, the whole campaign, it's like a campaign that you only see with like super household names. Like maybe yeah. there's that Robert Marawa, they yeah. do like super household names. Mm. So that is huge. That, that is your biggest gig here, right? In terms of like, bag. You know, uh, no, I don't. I don't want to disclose that. I want to know how much. Yeah, saying, yeah no, no, no. It's, it's, even it's like I don't. The bigger I, the billboard, okay. Yeah, sure. I don't even want people to know which one has been my biggest gig. But you okay? So you're still on the cock. Which I shouldn't be. Which you, but we moved. Actually, I need to like you know hit him so, up and be like, yo, this so contract ended it, like a long time ago. So it's okay. So everything is like it has its time limit. Yeah. And if it's going well, they renew it. Yeah. If it's not going well, and they gotta put the bag on the table. They gotta put the bag on the table. Exactly. Aye. So, yeah. When we did our interview three years ago, bro, yeah. you were in a different place in life. You just uh, done the queen. You just got on the queen. Mm. Things were coming together, and now, bro, it's crazy how three years can do. Now, two yeah, Netflix shows, crazy. crazy campaigns. Does it feel different or is fame fame? Or is Netflix famous different from Mzansi Magic famous? 
But what do you mean different? Like, for one, when I saw mm. Blood and Water come out, and I saw Gabriel Union tweet about how much he loves Blood and Water, I was mm. even excited to build the office. Like, yeah. These people have watched these dudes acting, like, yeah. yeah. So it's for a, you, it's a big thing. What, what has been like some of the surreal moments of like, Netflix, international recognition, mm. has there been any surreal moments for you? Or is it just like, I'm doing my work and moving on? I mean, there has been. I never thought in my life that at some point, you know, a couple of, not even a couple, like millions of people in Brazil or France or, you know, wherever Netflix is, would know me and actually, you know, pop me a message and say something and say, yo, yeah. loved your acting, loved the show, amazing stuff, keep on doing yeah. amazing. You know what I'm saying? I, I never thought in my life that those, um, you know, uh, spheres would be, would be penetrated. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm, that, that's one of like the most surreal things to me and I'm, I'm grateful for it. That's great. All People that. think blood and water is big in South Africa, but it's actually bigger in. It's actually in, big, in, bro. At some point, countries. when it dropped, at some point, on IMDb, I I am hundred percent positive. I even have a, a screenshot. We were we were number fifty five of the top shows to ever come out in the world. Number fifty five. I have that screenshot. And now, obviously, without revealing too much, you guys have just finished blood and water season two. Yep. Um, how was it linking up with the family again, linking up with everyone, especially after knowing the success of the first one? Is the pressure different to like outperform the first one? Definitely, the, there was a lot of pressure. Also, like other factors, you know, were affecting how we, we, we shot the show this time around, like stuff like COVID. Yeah. You know, so there was a lot of pressure, bro. Mm. I won't even lie, even on like set and, and, you know, trying to complete certain shots and certain, you know, um, scenery that, yeah. that needs to be like in the in the show it was difficult and challenging but we <laughs> shout out to us we actually shot a show during a fucking pandemic you know, that's that's big that's crazy. and it's gonna it's be not, crazy it's, it's gonna easy, be bro. crazy trust it's even like uh, we haven't seen anything uh, yet bro. See. Ish, <laughs> you'll see ish. I don't wanna say I'm looking forward to it I'm yeah yeah, yeah. To nah like, like I said three years ago uh, you didn't even have ink on you bro can you reveal that is it like are you coming you in Cape for three months? Yeah, dog, just this ink looks crazy. Shout, out, did the ink. Shout him out, dog. This looks crazy, dog. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's Roy. Roy97. Yeah, yeah, Roy underscore 97 got me inked up. Super clean dude. You guys should check him out, actually. Yeah. So is this three months of covering up your tag? Or you, can't, you can't review? You can't review? No, nah, I, uh, I, I already have. What, what do you mean three months of, of covering the tag? Weren't you away shooting for three months? Yeah, I was, but it wasn't covered. Oh, snap. Yeah, I, I can't, I but can't. But you're a bad boy already, you're a spoiled rich kid, dog. I mean, yeah, yeah I guess this works as yeah, well with that. It's yeah, easy, it's an easy writing. Yeah. And that, so, KB, spoiled rich kid, mm. Tabango Lava. I wouldn't say spoiled, but okay. Spoiled rich to kid. the head. Rich kid. Spoiled to the head. It's okay. smart. Yeah. I think it comes out end of season one, it starts you realizing that this guy is not just a party animal, yeah. he actually has a brain. Right. But the the backstory is just like um, yeah. I get what I want. But that contrasting to your actual life. Yeah. In in the first interview that we did, I'll link it to people to watch, we actually discuss like a lot of the struggles that you went through, you know, to get to where you are now doing right. what you love, you know, including having a full qualification. Just so that your parents could like, you know, let you be in the city to yeah. get get what you love. Mm. But to, to throw it back to that time, I remember when we talked about the the Queen audition, you said to me there was another dude from Harry Smith that was also like gunning for the role. Yeah. And right now in Harry Smith, bro, I swear I have people that I work with, people that just know me, that mm. realize we're friends. Yeah and say you put Harry Smith on the map. Yeah. Is, are you still like the only one or is like people now coming through? No, no, people are coming through, bro. They're coming through with the work. They're coming through with, you know, they own, you know, grinds. Uh, way, yeah, grinds and ways to get, you know, to, to where, where I am or even further, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I'm the only one. But the inspiration can be seen and like, yeah, yeah, you, definitely. you know, you probably, probably represent. Yeah, yeah. And, 
me and you have talked about like how you know obviously the relationship with the moms is like always beautiful moms yeah. are always supportive mm. i remember like in your earlier music there was a recording that you had of yeah. your moms being like hey Talan, it's rough it's rough yeah. why don't you try this and that yeah. but she was always supportive how does it feel now for for you seeing her see what you were telling her all along and what she was believing you for Shit, actually that's such a dope analogy of, of that uh it feels feels it feels like I've, I've accomplished something you know no matter what right now in 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 even if i were to stop everything that i'm doing in my parents eyes i'd i'm i'd never ever be a failure yeah, anymore yeah, you know yeah. again yeah you know I've, I, yeah they there's no one who's ever done what i've done in the family you know what i'm yeah, saying I, I i i feel accomplished now all of that, it's supposed to be like that like mm-hmm. the newest generation is supposed to outdo the previous generation I mean, yeah. like, your children now, you want them to like exceed and, and be like definitely and, and take dad, it even further. Reach what I've done. Mm. Yeah. But staying on that topic, bro, mm. like not to get personal, mm. but like I've also told you that like even with my with my parents, my mom always supportive. Mm. My dad, me and my dad actually became friends after I quali- I got my engineering degree, okay. got a job. That nigga was on my neck about everything until I don't know you've had like similar experiences, but yeah. like, has you like, do do you see like a switch in you and your dad's relationship when now you became your own independent man? Yeah, definitely. We became friends and became we get, yeah. real friends. Started talking about you know, real stuff that I feel like, um, you know, we should have spoken about from way back. From way you back. Know? Yeah, but on those conversations that I needed when I was a kid. Yeah. that moral support from you know a father figure yeah. is only happening now that you know he can see that I can actually handle my own yeah and exactly. I can I can go out there and slay the dragon and come back home with dragon meat yeah you know so like yeah bro it's we we've become more friends now like, yeah, yeah now, makes now more than ever bro and like the journey seems so long uh. but you're only 26 do you feel young or do you feel old? I like, feel I feel old, bro. Shit <laughs> needs to start like <laughs> making you sense a like. sense. Like there's there's a certain you know level I want to be at when the the moment I hit thirty, and yeah. right now at like with the way things are going, I I definitely feel old, you know. But there's still there's still that that four years I'm a fucking show up for it and, and yeah. put in the work that needs to be done, you know, so that I I reach the level I want to be at. Uh, yeah. Speaking of 26, bro, you celebrated your 26th birthday in style. Of course. You know, a, couple, a couple of very, very influential people that host shows and she yeah. you know, showed up for your, for your birthday celebration. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> you showed up for yeah. your birthday celebration. Mm. But, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was there, so I, 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 I know how it was. But, like, yeah. for a lot of people that even asked me, it's like, yo, bro. You guys went crazy, yeah. but from your side, um, I know that you just wanted to be special. And yeah, what was your mindset when you used like, I'm turning 26, I want to really enjoy it? Bro, I've never ever celebrated my birthday. Like that was the first time ever. Seriously? Normally on my birthdays, I'm back home with family because you know it, it happens in December, December and everyone exactly. is back home so each and every birthday of mine was celebrated with family at home and I was like man I don't want to do that anymore you know mm. it's just like turn things up a notch you know I've, I've you know I'm, I'm making it now you know yeah. let's let's fucking show up and and do the right things so um, I wanted to celebrate it like that with friends yeah and just go off you know it's my birthday yeah once in a while just like yeah, you know. boy, did you go off? Yeah. Bro, right. so everyone you're seeing with, people are kids you're dating. And Ish. people still... <laughs> people still are kids you're dating Kefiro, even though, like, Karen. But you and Kefi's relationship, you guys are pretty close, aren't they? Um, but let's talk through, like, work and then just... Yeah, we're okay. Like, <laughs> But you still, like, keep your core friends, like, your... Yeah, no, definitely, like bro. Definitely. Yeah, it's not it's not even like that, bro. Like for me personally, I prioritize like genuine friendships, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to come at me with like those vibes of trying to, you know, clout and all that shit, yeah. I'm not going to 
you know, yeah. you be a part of that. So everyone you see me with and is a friend to me, just know that it's it's on it's some like genuine, genuine stuff. Is, yeah, like it's deeper. Yeah, it's deeper than than just like surface stuff that you see. Mm. So yeah. Nah, that's right, bro. That's right. Bro. Oh. Like with like all these changes happening in your life, bro. Like, mm. how do you like stay centered? Are you like a reader, a meditator, very spiritual, or like? Is it just like I already saw this, so everything is just coming? It doesn't shock me. <laughs> um, that that question is is always very like difficult to answer. You know, I come from from being so centered and and being about you know meditation and and self-improvement work and and you know all that stuff i come from being better than i am right now mm. so right now when when that question gets asked I, I sort of like ask myself am i really grounded yet yeah am i really like centered yet yeah. you know so right now all i can say is that i'm, I'm working towards you know uh, yeah. getting back to that and getting ah, you know um becoming a, a more centered grounded man mm. you know be, before it even comes to uh being a, a, a popular actor, yeah. you know, as a man, as a human being, there's so many that I'm working towards just to like be a, a, a centered, grounded gent, yeah. you know, who's about his shit, who's about his grind and, yeah. and is focused, you know, I'm, I'm still working on that. I haven't fully grasped, you know, everything that I need to, to get there, but I'm working on it. And, yeah. and when I get there, it's gonna shake. It's, gonna be it's, crazy. it's, it's actually already shaking now. It's just gonna shake harder. It's gonna shake harder. Yeah. <laughs> but what is getting there for you? Cause like now, yeah. like I said, Blood and Water is not even like a South African show, it's an international yeah. show. Yeah. Diamond City is just, Diamond City got on Netflix, even though it was made for SABC One. Yeah. It got on Netflix. Was there a change in like the reception of Diamond City after, after like it got on Netflix? Yeah, definitely. You know, because a lot of people who, who were watching me on Blood and Water on Netflix were asking, where else are you? Where else can we see you? You know what I'm saying? So the moment they saw Diamond City, best believe that, that you know, views, yeah. you know, went up. And I'm not, I'm not going to put this on you, but yeah. I think you probably played a role in Diamond City going to Netflix. Because people are hungry for you, bro. Really? I've had <laughs> conversations with yeah. Ziggy yeah. regarding love. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love the web series. Ziggy's mad Ziggy. at me, dog. <laughs> we'll talk, we'll talk about it. Yeah, you guys will chop it up. We'll but Ziggy was telling me that even love yeah. saw an increase in growth after, after, Dan, uh, after yeah. Blood and Water. Yeah. I can imagine Diamond City the same way. Mm. But yeah, people are hungry for you, bro. So that's why I ask, what is making it for you? Because like the world seems to be hungry for you. Is it like... That is fucking scary. Why? They're hungry for me. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but they you appreciate know. your crop. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I, I get that and I love that and I'm grateful for that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But like my chat is, you know, with, with that comes a lot of pressure of being a certain way that people are expecting or a certain image that they already have up in their heads. Yeah. And, 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 you know, they expect you to like, Live you know, up. live up to that and meet up to it. And sometimes you really can't. And now it's sort of like, oh, so he's like that. But we've spoken, at least now, uh -huh. there's a transition. Although you never want to own it, previously it was all about, initially when you were still crazy into modeling, mm. people wanted you just because they say you look a certain way. Yeah. Now it's turned into more the craft. People want to see you work. Isn't that better okay. than that, Yeah. Because now the that, is not you. You see that. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that. If you want to see me because of because because you want to see what I can do, mm. let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so now ask what is making it for you? Is it like uh, films doing international films? Is it like growing in more in South Africa, or is is you like your focus on just making money? And, is it even about the talent brand or are you like over that? Is it, Yo, is it the craft? Is it the craft? That's a tough one. I mean, number one is the craft, you know, mm -hmm. that I, I should never ever take that away, bro. Number one should be the craft and, and the focus on the craft will get me all these other things. Uh, you know what I'm saying? When the craft is, is booming and is going up and, and I'm learning, I'm constantly growing in, in that particular, you know, aspect, then everything else just falls into mm -hmm. place. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? 
So, yeah. So, that day, I got on Netflix and I saw Diamond City and Blood and Water side by side. Yeah. And so there was that Netflix post from high school to high court. Oh, oh that, shit. That finished from me. high school to high court, boy. <laughs> Bars. Me. And also, yeah. bro, but sadly, when now I found out about the passing of Nakol, the Ish. first person I thought of yeah. was like you, because on Diamond City, you guys like were like literally acting together in a romantic relationship and mm. I, I, I don't know if i'm too young i wasn't to cha cha at the time but i got introduced <laughs> to her properly yeah how, how did you feel when you found out about that like, how did you find out about it found out from the socials uh, yeah uh, i was told you know um that hey someone texted me saying hey um, sorry about your, your cost member in my head i'm thinking what the fuck did we lose someone in, in blood and water or mm-hmm. what happened? And then I started like, you know, I, I went on, on Instagram just to see what's happening. So I checked every cast member on, on, on blood and water to see what they have well, posted. Yeah. And then I, I came across a post of, I came across someone who posted, no, I was like, oh, that's, that's what this person means. You yeah, know? Yeah, Fuck. Yeah. So that's how I found out. And. It was really devastating, man, knowing that I've worked with this person, I know what they like, I know their energy. Yeah. And, you know, I know the impact that they've had in my career as well. And it's just like they're not there anymore. Yeah. yeah that's sad. Yeah. Why did you go to Instagram? Isn't it like Twitter where you go for news? What? Like when you wanted to check. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the same thing. So now I just check Instagram, not Twitter anymore, because <laughs> I'm not on Twitter anymore. <laughs> did you really look Twitter, though? I really did, you know. Deleted, uh, gone, Chuck. Gone, deactivated, you know. I still like reactivate just to see. Just to see, yeah. You did, did you ever ghost account? Nah, no, even. I don't have <laughs> no time for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, like, but what, what is it about Twitter? It's like the energies, because you just mentioned. Yeah, energies. bro. Like, Twitter is, is hectic, bro. I don't know if. Actually, Twitter everywhere, you know, is just hectic. And no matter how much you try and avoid and cut off the negativity, it always ends up on your page. Yeah. It's like you, you just have this much control yeah, on, what, on, yeah, on what, ha- what comes onto your timeline, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You can unfollow people, you can, you can do whatever, but somehow it's all good. the negative stuff just ends up on your timeline as well. And, and for me personally, I know people can say, no, nah, you should make sure it doesn't affect you. Oh, it's just Twitter. Yeah. Some of us, man, I don't want to say it gets to us, but somehow you get affected like in a way, you know. So I, I just like, I was just like, firstly, what does this app really actually do for me? You know what I'm saying? Fine, it makes me rack here and there, but that rack I can make through IG. You know what I'm saying? So let me just cut it out. So that for me was what I did. I'm not saying, I'm not saying at some point I'm not going to, go back or be on Twitter again. But for now, um, I'm nice. I would probably do it later again for, for a certain sp- uh, specific reason that matters to me. But other than that... Chilled. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I feel you, bro. I think at the end of the day, energy is everything. And if that's knocking you off, like, mm-hmm. off your stride, then, yeah, no, I feel Yeah. But yeah, bro. I appreciate this interview. You don't do a lot of interviews anymore. Why is that? Because like, like, when, when, like, obviously when you prepare to interview someone, yeah. you go back, watch a few things, but like, you, you don't do a lot of that anymore. Why, why is that? Firstly, bro, you know, interviews are very tricky because you could, you could say a lot of stuff there that could really like mess, you know, your, your, your things up. They could mess things up for you, number one. Number two, um, when I watch interviews that I've done and, and sort of like listen to myself speak, I'm just like, man, I've, I've grown so much from that. Whatever I was thinking at that time is not who I am anymore. And, and you know, I've, I've changed so much. Yeah. And people don't know this. So whenever they, they search for my name, they're going to hop on and, and check that out. And whereas I'm, I'm so you much different yeah. now. So I'd rather keep the mystery, you know, leave the interviews that are already there uh, to, you know, tell. yeah, tell whatever story. But right now, when it comes to who I am, what I'm about, what I'm doing and all of that, I'd rather much like keep, keep, 
keep that a, a mystery. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I don't want people in my stuff. I don't want people knowing what I do, stuff like that. I just want to keep all of that as a mystery. You know about my work and acting stuff. Yeah. That's fine. You know, but like also there's an element of, you know, interviews sort of like uh, a boost fame and being known and that's that's really like a part of 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 my life and what i do that i really don't want to you know put any energy into i don't i don't really want to become crazy famous or you know Mm. crazy popular i just want to be known for my work and my work is already bringing enough fame for me i don't want any more of that coming from interviews and having an interview with so and so you know what i'm saying Personally, I just want to be known for my work, you know, and that's enough. Doesn't that like put a, a bit of a catch-22 situation because like fame brings you money? Oh. And in a way, in a, not always, mm. not always, in a way, you know, mm. it's not, it's not, people think, people think fame does bring you money. Well, it does, but, but you can get to more money without even like being I see. famous you know I what i'm saying yeah. yeah yeah i totally feel you especially like when you talk about growth from like even i say three years ago and now totally different person uh-huh. and yeah it's beautiful to see bro you're a lot more grounded you know a lot more zen which is funny because back then fame is wasn't the only thing you wanted but you thought like fame is a product of success and yeah. now you're almost anti-fame so it's like so dope to see but one thing i was curious about before we knock off that how did you get the tattoos past your parents? I know it, like you're grown, but <laughs> we come from very similar family structures, you know. Uh, yeah. Parents um, that love Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, dog. Here's the thing, right? The more the more you do for yourself as a person, and the more you you like just get your own shit and get stuff done, and you know, the more your parents become lenient on some of the mm-hmm. decision you want to sure. make because you've made it you know True. or you're making it you type make of thing it. so they just like they 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 happy to just they let a lot see. slide mm-hmm. if 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 i did this and i was just like Straight i don't know a nyaupa boy and yeah. like i was just always fucking around they'd have me for it mm-hmm. but no, yeah here, now here. because i'm 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 actually working towards my dreams and i'm putting in the work and they can see the the the, the byproduct of that they just like ah it's just let him be, you know, yeah. he's, he's okay, he's doing well, he's doing it's well. fine. He knows. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, I, I so, love that. Right? Yeah. And work-wise, same thing, there's just like your brand or like the acting overweighs anything, any, any extra money covering up the tattoos would take. Uh, that, that, that depends on, you know, the production and the kind of character they want me to play. Yeah, yeah if, if they want a gangster, then this is going to work. work. If, they don't they'll probably cover it up or just put me in long sleeves and out. the writing skills also matter you know if they can write can it in yeah, yeah exactly yeah. so yeah but i love that bro mm. Mm. from my side dude i love everything you're doing thank you so you much i i amazing. love i love this initiative this is pretty dope bro oh, like and, and from you like yeah it's it's really dope like you really took the effort and time to like source a place put this shit all together with yeah. blaze it's just like yeah. you know it's a dope initiative it's uh, uh, nah, exactly. Thank you. Shout out. Med bro. Oh, always. Well, well. Well. Shout out. Thank hey, you. Like, next thing, I have to fly to LA to interview. You know what it is to like, you know, pay a visit. We go to the B, my beach house there, hey. and you know, it's vibes. Yeah. yeah. Everything you've ever said you do, you've done. So exactly. I see that That's coming. the point. Yeah, it is coming. No, yeah. no doubt about that. Definitely, yeah, bro. Shout out, my homie. <laughs> oh yeah.